third film, I gave, I, gave, I put a little extra. I put a little extra Ghibli into this one. I, I was recommended this movie, of course. I didn't know nothing about this movie. As far as I'm concerned, all I knew was it's Ghibli. And, and I, I, I think I heard that this is a very emotional movie. Which I should have really took that and with a guy. <laughs> with a, I should have really took that. Like at one point I was watching this movie downstairs and there was like a moment where I was like crying. I was like, I gotta go upstairs. I cannot be seen watching this shit. Because yeah, this film, this film will make you ball. If, if you have any emotions or in general, I mean, I'm, again, if you have emotions or you're, again, even a man, you know, I'm a man, you know what I mean? I'm a, a macho man. <laughs> but even this movie brought me down to a little girl and yeah. That movie that we're talking about, let's get the description ready and hot, is the film Grave of the Fireflies. Grave of the Fireflies is a war drama, and it's about a young boy and his little sister who struggles to survive in Japan during World War II. And of course, the film's runtime is 89 minutes. The film's non-rated in color. And so let's get right into this movie, man. I honestly, after watching this movie, I'm literally, I feel exhausted. Because there was so much emotion. This movie is hard. This is like a one-time watch. Like, this is like a Schindler's List. You see this once and you call it a day, folks. Because this film is gonna break you, kick you in the butt, and just, and just, and just drag you. Just drag you to the, to the sands and pray you don't die from fucking, I don't know, choking. Yeah, this film, <laughs> that's a pretty, pretty interesting description. But yeah, this film is a man, it's, it's just a master, it's master class. It's just, there's nothing wrong with this one. This movie's amazing. It is, again, it deals with World War II. Again, I've been watching a lot of the Hayao Miyazaki movies and we get hints of war. I believe, honestly, this is a fantastic end, I guess, to this. So if you're gonna watch all the Hayao Miyazaki movie, end it with this movie, because this movie will break you and, and show you, because it deals with the aftermath of, of war and just people dealing with things and, and, and just the resources and food and just it, it, It's rough. It's rough. The performances are just mashed for you got the the main guy Who's a young boy who he he helps protect his sister and War is happening. They deal with with a loss of, of parents and they they're, they're on their own pretty much and just trying to care for his sister trying to survive pretty much and I thought the guy did a fantastic job. I think the, the voice actor, just you hear it in the voice. Again, it's hard to get, I mean, a really amazing voice acting performance because it, it's just hard. Because usually when you see a real performance, you see the actual person doing the thing. With animation, it's kind of hard in a way. But I think the voice acting for this man is beautiful. It deals with just, uh, just the sadness of losing parent. And just the sadness of, of just like trying to survive well and having a, a sister who's so little and just wanting to protect her from everything and it's just really hard and the man deals with it beautifully the emotions are fantastic and you got the little girl um, who is she's young she's a little girl she she's young she's a young kid and she she is in a world of hell pretty much with world war ii her whole town is just being just destroyed and dealing with hunger and starvation because of just a lack of resources and a lack of food and and just and and just her brotherly love she just loves her brother and wants to be with him and God, even talking about this gets me, <laughs> gets me like a little emotional. Man, I'm freaking editing the, the video and I'm like feeling emotional while listening to me talking about the movie. My God, <sighs> this movie's amazing, but it's just so sad. Oh my God. Yeah, she's amazing. Her performance is just fantastic. And just the relationship between the two is what really leads the movie. And just the brother just wants to protect her his sister. And I just, I, their chemistry is amazing. You got other guy people. You got the aunt, which such a freaking terrible person. Jeez Louise. I mean, I don't know if it was me, but I just hated her guts, man. Because that's, I mean, that's the aunt. That's, that's her sister's kid. And for you to not give them the food and just actually stealing food from them. 
and just and be like you know when they're like yeah i want to leave like i feel like you don't want me here and she's like all right guys goodbye bye and just leaves and it's just sad i was like bro that's your sister's kids and you're not even like trying to help them a little and especially a young baby in a way come on fuck this lady uh, <laughs> i hated this lady big time but yeah the performances are fantastic and even like the little characters that like the, like the moms and just dealing with the loss of just just bombs man bombs destroy things and them losing things losing their loved ones i think like even the little characters in the background has something and yeah everybody did a great job direction is amazing this is a beautiful animated movie the movie came out in 1989 and this is beautiful animation this is a beautifully animated movie the writing is fantastic. I think this is a very well written movie, and it's also a, based on the man who wrote the book, his his or the short story. It's based on his life because this is the, what makes this even sadder, in a way, is that this is this is true. This is what happened to this man. Who I don't want to get in too deep with what happens in this movie, but you deal with it, and you're just like by the end, just just not just crying, just in the shoes of this man. And, uh, of the boy and it's just so sad and the writing is just amazing chemistry is just up the roof these i mean they're brothers and sister he wants to care for her he loves his sister his sister loves him and just imagine having a baby who like doesn't know how to comprehend losing your their parents at such a young age it's like especially the way that things happen in the war being casualties is so devastating and they are fantastic together the animations again what i just said it's just amazing this is a beautiful looking movie it is it's beautifully animated it's beautiful in a in a in a in a horror sense of just the war and just being scared and terrified of just these freaking planes every time you hear the air raids you're just shitting yourself and just being in them shoes and yeah the, the, the animation's amazing the music too is fantastic the music is really good the score top notch and again grave of the fireflies is a one-time watch for me i think it, it's gonna be a while till i see this movie because it's just it's gonna be it's too hard it's, it really is a difficult movie to watch like this is i would recommend people to see it though i recommend you to watch it it's a must watch it's one of the i think it's up there with one of my favorite ghibli movies honestly and it's just so devastating and it deals with just the aftermath of war and why war is so destructive in that and it's, it's just it's a ghibli uh, narrative of war is bad and we, we try to stop war from happening and try to not lead to fighting and yeah i thought this film was amazing and it's it's without a doubt five out of five stars the reason i might not even give it a six again it's a first time watch again i don't like to give my legendary rating for a movie i only saw once I, I believe this movie's a six though. I believe it's a six with more watches and I think it will be. And honestly, if anything, I mean, I don't, again, I just, I like to give it a five because I don't want to be like, oh, this is a six. It's a five though, it's a five. It's it's still a high ass rating. It's the best of the best. This movie's amazing. If I'm going to give it a letter, is it e freak exhausted? Because you're going to be freaking exhausted by the end of this movie. Your eyes are going to be teary. You're just going to be crying your ass off. And that's what I felt like after watching Grave of the Fireflies. And now I feel like I, I gotta be, 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 be freaking dead. Just kill me right now. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I just killed, I didn't throw my phone in the air. I just threw it to the, just, I'm so exhausted right now. This movie, it, it, ugh. Watch this movie, please. You, you do yourself a service. And if you have seen this, let me know how you, how, how you, how you felt watching it. How your emotions felt. Again, I was just devastated a lot during the movie. And just yeah, if you like the movie, let me know, and uh, yeah, let's let's mourn together. <laughs>